Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, uh, Replica Builder. So what I'm doing today is, uh, you can see I got this cut out right here. So that's for the tunnel. Uh, that way when the inside piece comes in here, it'll mount up to this and it'll be a, an enclosed portion. Uh, you can also see my piece of steel that I got through here. So I had two of the screws that was holding into the fiberglass uh, that I had to take out. Just go figure. They were pretty much right where I needed to go. So I removed those two and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this section of the frame out, which is on the inside, which is this piece right here. So it goes over. I still need to finish welding that and this. And then this is going to have to get cut. Got to finish welding that and that. And uh, once I get to that point, um, I'm going to probably go ahead and uh, weld it in back there uh, to lock uh, uh, the front portion into the rear portion. So um, what I'm working on today is that right there. And then uh, the next thing I've done today is this uh, top panel uh, right here. Uh, needs to come off. So I went ahead and uh, uh, cut the edges here and I've already peeled it off once, but uh, there's that. So I got that piece comes off. So what my next thing is gonna be to do is to uh, get the steel right here, uh, turned around and come in this way uh, through this bottom piece. I uh, couldn't do that with this panel on there, so that's why I had to remove it so I can get my steel in here. Uh, once I get that done, I can uh, fiberglass that other piece back onto here. shouldn't be uh, any big deal. You can see where I had attached it before. So I'll probably peel all this back off and uh, start over again. Um, but I'll be able to attach uh, the 2x2 two two, uh, frame from the bottom and the top, so that should make that very sturdy. <clears throat> So I had my uh, two front uh, inner panels in here so I could mark this to get this cut out. So like I said, now I've got to do this and uh, I'm going to see if I can come up to uh, catch this mounting point and uh, come probably up and over to catch that one and then see if I can follow this up and uh, somehow, somehow tie it in up here somewhere. Not real sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. Uh, just gonna kinda go as I can and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna get the other side, it's pretty much the same way. So just gotta tie into that steel. So yeah, that's what I'm up to today. So follow along. So I put uh, a couple pieces of uh, the steel that I wanna put up in there. This is one by two, uh, 3 16 thickness. So I'm wanting to put that there and uh, follow this radius around here. Uh, so I, like I said, I've put this up here and then I've taken this panel here and then I've putting it back up on there. And the two by two seems to clear. It looks like it fits pretty much right in this slot right here. So what I've done is uh, that's the exact same curve that I need on the inside. So uh, I just made a, a cardboard template, um, you know, on the other side here. So let's pull that back. So I made a template there to get that exact uh, shape that I need here. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'll take this pattern and uh, we'll put it up on my makeshift bench here. And I'll start out with my two by two angle. And I'll start making the, the slices out of it so I can get this radius. And I'll just continue working it all the way over, uh, tacking it and everything. And then uh, after that, uh, I'll probably take the piece of steel and put it up in here and put that panel back on and make sure it all fits okay. And uh, if it does, then I'm going to go ahead and weld that piece in. So I set this panel back up on here just to see how it uh, fits. Uh, looks like everything fits good. Uh, nothing is screwed together. It's just laying there. So the little bit of a gap that I have in uh, right through here uh, will close. Will be no big deal. So I should have uh, videoed a little bit more than what I have uh, because this is uh, pretty much get that out of there. 
So this here is what I've been working on. So <clears throat> I have uh, all this uh, done, as you can see. I had it screwed in. Uh, I don't have it screwed in just yet. Uh, I went ahead and made these uh, drop downs here, as you can see. They'll tie in right down there. And uh, same thing over there. Not quite as drastic of an angle on this side uh, as there is over on this side, but that's okay. So pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I'm going to down on the bottom here. I think I'm probably going to piece of uh, put a piece of two by two right here. Uh, same on the other side, and that'll take care of those two mounting locations. And then I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with these other ones here. So, yeah, I think uh, I've got all this pieces all welded together uh, all the way down uh, to where it gets to here. Uh, it is not welded here, so I can screw this in, uh, jack the front of this up, and then pull this piece out, uh, which is what I'm going to have to do, because you can also see that I got the hole cut through here. So I'm going to have to cut the steel right here and uh, continue uh, building a frame or something up and around. So it takes a long time uh, doing this, uh, making all the slices and cutting and welding and uh, screwing things together and getting things where you want it to lay. So we'll just keep on going with it. Uh, we got the fell down, but I did uh, kind of start, <clears throat> excuse me, working on this side here a little bit, as you can see. So I got that piece cut uh, for there. And then I've got uh, a piece, let me get back on the other side here, it'll be a little easier to show you. I've got a piece that goes uh, up in this pocket right here, which is going to be for the door hinge. So that's going to be a flat piece of metal, a uh, quarter inch plate that I'm going to come through here and it's going to tie into this. Um, this is also going to come probably and tie in up here to this frame here. So. Yeah, it's starting to uh, come along, take shape a little bit here. So I still got a long ways to go on the frame, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with my uh, progress so far. So tell me what you guys think and uh, keep watching. So I've been at, back at it again here. So uh, sorry I haven't filmed a lot of this, but uh, yeah, just been trying to get a, a little farther along on this frame here. So. Uh, you can see this uh, here is just tacked uh, into place. Uh, you might be asking why I've uh, ran the two uh, at an angle like this. Uh, and it's because of uh, the uh, bolt locations on the other side uh, for the frame. As you can see my marks, there are, uh, it's kind of a triangle shape, so hence the reason that I have that uh, turned at an angle. Uh, that way I can catch uh, uh, some metal on each one of those screws uh, whenever I go to uh, bolt my frame up to this. So, got everything in here tucked in uh, about as tight as I can get it up on the firewall here. So, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to go with it. Uh, I think uh, next thing is going to be tackling the uh, sides over here. Uh, you can see over here I've got that one piece of... Uh, two by sitting up there. So I'll be tying into the top of that and going over uh, for the door hinge uh, metal over here. And then uh, we'll be tying this in uh, up into this metal up here that comes down from this piece and also in the front. So then I've got to do uh, one more piece. Uh, and that'll be for uh, up here on this front lip uh, for uh, metal up there yet uh, and then that will be all four sides and of course I'll have to reinforce it uh, on the underneath but uh, that's going to be at a later time so I think uh, I'm going to try to get into uh, building uh, around these door jams uh, metal that uh, is going to follow this line along through and then uh, I'm going to find a way to attach it to that main uh, piece of steel down there on the bottom. 
So yeah, that's uh, how it's uh, looking so far. Uh, this uh, piece on the top uh, does sit back up there in place. So I'm glad about all that. Uh, the panel is all sent in the back. So things are looking pretty good. This is the frame uh, that I just removed from uh, the front of the car. Uh, everything's just tack welded together on part of it. So I'm going to take this uh, time to go ahead and weld it up solid. And uh, then I'll put it back into the car. It was a pain to get out in one piece, but I figured if I could do it in one piece, it'd be better because then I could get uh, weld on all four sides. So... Stay tuned and I'll show you some welding uh, when I'm done. So I've been working on this uh, piece over here. Uh, you'll see it follows uh, around underneath the door and comes all the way back to there. You see, I got my clamp holding it on there. I got another clamp holding it on here, but uh, I've got that about as close as I can get it. Uh, I know this corner is off a little bit, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Um, Planning on uh, running some screws through this uh, on both sides here. Uh, once I get this done, you see I got a screw right here and then there's enough room right here on the steel. When I put my other inside panel down, it'll rest right on that. So this piece right here was kind of a pain because it curved both ways. It curved up uh, and it also curved to the right. So had a little trial and error there working on that. And uh, then this piece right here uh, looks pretty good. So along with that, uh, I got uh, all the front stuff in, uh, welded up. I still have to attach it uh, back to the firewall but uh, still is not attached to this right here. So I can lift this up and take this piece out right now, goes all the way back. So pretty happy with it. Uh, I'll get out and, uh, up from inside the car here and I'll give you uh, some more pictures. So there it is again, uh, standing out over here. So I am going to, uh, after I get that installed there, uh, I am going to put some uh, steel in between uh, the main part uh, on the floor down here. Uh, this piece right here, I'm going to be running some steel up in between that. And then down on the bottom side over here, I'm probably going to be putting another piece of steel. And then of course, I've got another piece of steel that goes in right here. So other than that, I'm pretty happy with my uh, progress uh, for the weekend. I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere with it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions or anything uh, for me, I had to take this piece out here so I could finagle this big piece in and out. So none of that is welded over there. I just had it screwed up there. So I do have to take that out and weld that. Uh, along with uh, this piece that goes around the door that I did today, I still have to do some welding on this here. Uh, and then on the back, I've got some more welding. But I uh, just wanted to try to get going on that just to see what I was in for. So I'll have to do the same thing on the other side here. But uh, that's going to be another day. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you're uh, liking these videos. Uh, if you are, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and uh, look out for the next video. Thanks again.